guard pieces are fit up and um, it's time for the handle. So I have decided to use a piece of antler. Um, the person I'm making this for, that was an option that they wanted. So we're gonna use antler. Um, the biggest problem is that I have never worked with antler before. Um, I understand how it works. Um, but uh, this will be a little bit of a learning curve as far as the actual handle material. What I need to do is I need to figure out exactly the orientation um, that this is going to fit on the handle. And if you can see, um, I have this curve pretty, pretty close to what the, the antler is. Um, but this way, it's a little off. So I'm assuming what I'm going to need to do is basically um, cut this straight, grind a little more off this end or this side right here, and then um, you know grind this so it's a little more comfortable. But this actually feels really good. Um, so I think this is a good piece to use. The other thing I need to decide is I originally forged this to be a through tang but I don't know if I want to drill into the, the end of this antler uh, just because I like the look of this. So I think I want to keep that intact. So I'll probably have to cut this off a little bit and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole so that I can peen over um, a little piece of stainless steel or whatever I've got. Probably the same stuff I used, these pins that I used for uh, alignment. Um, so I think this is going to work out great. First step is I need to take this handle and get um, the length figured out so I can take off the extra tang, um, decide where my flat needs to be to meet up with the guard, and then once I've done that I can start drilling the hole, and then once I have the hole, have this fitted up, um, I can take this section of guard off and set it on the top of here and drill where my alignment pins are going to fit in uh, to this piece of antler. All right, cut that off on the bandsaw. And that looks, it's a little off, but I'll be able to grind that to where I want it. Normally I do my drilling um, on the drill press. But I think in this case, um, just because there's so many contours, um, I don't really have any way to clamp this in or a, a flat on the bottom to set it down and have it be stable. So I am going to get my drill and just start wallowing out a hole in this thing. And uh, hopefully we don't screw this up. So because I need to take a little more off of this side to get it straightened up for the fit, um, I'm going to move my hole to the right just a little bit. So basically I can get a nice straight line down here. See how good this uh, brooch is that I made the other day. I don't know what kind of uh, material antler is, how hard it is. Or didn't know if this was going to work too well on there, but it seems to be working just fine. I guess the good thing about this brooch is that um, I could put a, a metal cutting blade on it if I needed to but looks like this wood blades working just fine
So I'm getting this uh, pretty close. Um, I've gotten to the point where I need to start straightening out these lines. So when I start pushing it up more, it's gonna be uh, even with the uh, guard material. So I'm gonna start, as I'm digging out, I'm gonna start flattening these areas. And then same here, start uh, grinding in this way so that as I push this up more, it's gonna fit up to the guard. One tip for getting your lines parallel. Uh, it's not gonna work good with this tool, with these set of calipers, but if you have a set with a pencil on the other end, like a compass or something, what you'll do is you'll take and you'll set your distance between your edge that you wanna follow and then the farthest away edge from the material you're trying to get a straight line to. So, like this, and then you'll just continue drawing. You'll follow this straight line and continue drawing across, if that makes sense. All right, did a little grinding. And now, as you can see, as I push that up, those lines match up a lot better. So now all I need to do is continue digging this out to get this distance down to zero. After a little more digging and a little more drilling and a little more grinding, it looks like I've got this all fit up where I need it to be. Um, so now that I have this where I need it to be, I'm going to take this section of guard and I'm going to lay it on top of here and then drill my alignment holes. That way I get everything fit up uh, where it needs to be and it'll stay where it needs to be while I'm grinding. The alignment pins are in, so now we'll get the handle fit up to the guard and then from there we'll do a little basic shaping on the guard and then the rest of the handle. I think I've got this uh, to where I like it. It's a very rough grind on there. Um, it's fitting even with the guard material. Uh, so my next step is going to be to uh, sand this guard material. Now that I've got it shaped, roughly shaped, um, I'm gonna sand it down and get it polished and finished ground. And um, then that'll be the end of that. I'll pull that off and then um, I will set it off to the side. Um, I'll go through and I'll uh, sand this handle down to where I like it. And then we'll move on to the hand sanding. On a personal note, um, this is probably the last time I'll ever work with antler. This stuff smells horrible. So you've been warned.